Hello, and thanks for joining us today to find out more about the new all-electric Volkswagen ID.5. Volkswagen's industry-leading commitment to electric was heralded in 2016 with the unveiling of the ID concept car at the Paris Motor Show. At that moment, Volkswagen CEO Dr. Herbert Diess confirmed that this family hatchback EV would go into production in 2020, which it did as the ID.3. But the debut of the ID concept was more than just about pulling the wraps off one car. ID also signaled the arrival of Volkswagen Group's MEB modular electric platform. This cutting edge structure promised and is now delivering numerous benefits. With MEB, the batteries are located between the axles under the passenger cell and arranged in a neat flat arrangement, much like that of a bar of chocolate. This simple platform structure allows enormous flexibility and you can really see that today because it forms the basis of EVs from many different sizes and classes across a growing number of Volkswagen Group brands. MEB is superior in the way it stores and distributes power and it enables impressive space efficiency too. The ID3, for example, has a footprint similar to a Golf, but room inside for occupants equivalent to that of a Passat, which is the next class up. The MEB story, and with it, the ID story, is growing all the time, with the ID4 SUV joining the range last year. And so impressed with this car were experts from all over the globe that it was voted World Car of the Year. That's quite some seal of approval. In 2021, global sales of Volkswagen battery electric vehicles doubled compared with the previous year, with production capacity being systematically expanded in response to this fast-growing demand. Following the conversion of the German Zikau plant into a dedicated EV factory, three further sites begin building electric vehicles this year, in Emden and Hanover, and in Chattanooga in the USA. Now, another member of the ID family is here, the ID5. The ID5 is a premium and uncompromising electric SUV coupe, offering the possibility of long ranges between fast charging, enjoyable driving dynamics, and fantastic practicality. Following the example of the ID3, the new ID5 is a space champion. It offers the footprint and interior space of a Tiguan, but with the turning circle of a Golf. That makes the newcomer an ideal family car, being both hugely practical, yet also easy to maneuver around town. All ID5s come equipped with a powerful 77 kilowatt hour net battery, available in three power variants and all with an eight year battery warranty as standard. On the WLTP system, each of these is rated as having around 300 miles of range. Of course, it is important to note that range is influenced by a number of environmental factors as well as driving style. Having said that, in the real world, drivers can look forward to at least 260 miles of maximum range between full charges, which is very practical for the vast majority of customers. In terms of lineup, the customer can choose between the potent 174 PS powertrain as standard or the even punchier 204 PS if they want extra performance. Both of these versions are combined with a rear wheel drive layout. At the top of the range, the dual-motor all-wheel-drive GTX has an impressive maximum power output of 299 PS. And because all ID.5s have 77 kilowatt-hour batteries, they share the same charge times, which means you can comfortably get a full charge overnight via a home wall box, or rapid charge to 80% in just 28 minutes, the perfect break time on a long journey to check emails, complete the day's wordle, and enjoy a warm latte. Every ID.5 is highly specified with useful, attractive features such as a panoramic sunroof, ID light LED matrix headlights, 3D LED taillights, the latest iteration of the Travel Assist semi-autonomous assistance system, an electric tailgate, Volkswagen's augmented reality head-up display, 12-way electrically adjustable seats with massage function, and three-zone climate control all included as standard. That's a surprisingly comprehensive roll call of sophisticated equipment, the kind expected of a very high-end luxury car. It all underlines the ID.5's premium positioning and shows that our new AV SUV coupe has substance in addition to its style. And speaking of style, let's have a closer look now at the exterior design. You may have seen numerous images of the ID.5 already, but when seeing it physically up close for the first time, one of the main things that strikes you are the proportions. It's the same width as the ID.3, and it's only a fractionally taller, six centimeters in fact. 
yet the ID.5 also has considerable presence. At the front, the car features elements familiar to other ID models, such as the sleek headlights, minimal grille incorporating stylish light bar, and the hexagonal shapes within the lower air intake. Naturally, the unmistakable VW roundel takes pride of place in the centre. As we move around to the side of the car, you start to see both the typically tall and imposing SUV silhouette appearing, but also the sweeping roof line that is usually associated with a coupe. While the ID.5 has a look all of its own, let's also note other common ID family design language features. For example, the short front overhang, the long A-pillar which finishes relatively far forward, leading to a shorter bonnet, the gloss black B-pillar and the neat crease line along the side. From this angle, the additional length of the ID.5 over the ID.3 is also obvious, which liberates even more legroom in both seating rows, while also allowing a generous boot capacity of 549 litres. As we head to the rear, we see a simple, elegant design. There's a neat spoiler to help improve aerodynamics and increase rear downforce, while also adding a visual, sporty touch. But the standout feature is the LED light bar, which runs across the width of the vehicle, supporting the Volkswagen roundel in the middle. It looks striking enough in the daylight, but is even better at night and really emphasizes the premium feel of this car. Now, let's have a look inside. Occupants sit nice and high in the ID.5 for a typical SUV elevated position. Inside the cabin, you can see a simple and elegant design with a great sense of light and spaciousness. Let's look at a few of the highlights. A heated multifunction steering wheel, a five inch digital dashboard providing comprehensive driver information, and a 12 inch infotainment system, including satellite navigation. Sophisticated augmented reality head up display and three zone air conditioning so that the driver, passenger and rear can select different temperatures. The ID.5 comes with natural voice control and also the trademark ID light, which is a fantastic strip of LEDs located underneath the windscreen, which provides additional useful signals to the driver. For example, it swoops left if the sat-nav is instructing you to turn left ahead. For those appreciating storage compartments, the ID.5 will not disappoint because there's a generous array of storage features throughout. And of course, the ID.5 comes with all the latest safety and assistance technology adaptive cruise control, lane assist, fatigue detection, parking sensors, and a rear view camera. Parking is made easier thanks to the Park Assist Plus with memory function. This feature memorizes a parking position, for example, the customer's driveway, and can automatically park there upon request via memory of the exact position of the car with minimal input from the driver. That's great for those of a tricky driveway or garage to navigate daily. It's worth mentioning that the ID.5 comes with the same futuristic ID sound technology as the ID.3 and ID.4. The AVAS audio sounds when starting up at speeds up to 80 miles per hour and when reversing, and can be heard both inside and outside the vehicle. As we jump into the back, it's the spaciousness that is most striking. I can tell that for me, even over six foot tall, there's plenty of head and legroom for me. A couple of things to point out here are the two USB-C ports, the completely flat floor with no transmission tunnel, and the phone pockets. Now, let's have a quick look in the boot. Despite the car's coupe profile, its boot capacity is similar to most SUVs of this size and expands to 1,561 litres with the rear seats folded down, which you can do simply by pulling on these buttons. If a customer wants every option added, then they can opt for the Max, which adds a heat pump, larger alloy wheels, sports bucket seats, and dynamic chassis control. And finally, if power combined with all wheel drive and even sporty design is what the customer requires, then the GTX Max is the trim level to go for. The exclusive GTX is a badge for our faster, more driver-focused ID models. It has extra visual presence, impressively strong performance, an incredibly comprehensive level of standard specification, and as previously mentioned, all-wheel drive courtesy of having an electric motor fitted at the front of the vehicle as well as at the rear as per other ID.5 models. One real point of difference between Volkswagen ID models and their competitors is that they are all built net carbon neutral as certified independently by TUV Nord. That means that the production process of these vehicles, thanks to using sustainable energy, does not contribute to a net CO2 output. 
As environmental consideration is a major factor for many customers going electric, this is a really positive facet to the ID story. Also, all ID models have the ability to have their software updated and improved during the vehicle's life, much like your smartphone. And this includes over-the-air updates too. This enables enhancements and improvements to be added during the customer's time with the vehicle. So, the ID5, like all other ID models, is a cutting-edge car that will remain cutting-edge during the vehicle's life. Thanks for taking the time to learn more about the Volkswagen ID5. I hope that you will enjoy getting behind the wheel yourself.